Good morning. Good morning, students. Welcome back. Welcome to week eight. Take out your books, please. This is the page number. We're going to start with the first one, which is page 44 and then page 45, no? There's a reading activity and listening one. Okay, we're going to begin with the first part, which is the reading activity. Here we have uh, two previous questions. It says, look at the photo and the title of the text and discuss the question. Look at the title. It says, Will life really be like this? It seems an interesting movie. Question number one, who are the people and what are they doing? Question number two, do you know anything about the film Minority Report? Maybe yes, maybe not. So let me give you something about the movie. What's coming? Double homicide, one male, one female. Killer's male, white, 40. Set up a perimeter and tell them we're on risk. I'm placing you under arrest for the future murder of Sarah Marks. Give the man his hat. The future can be seen. All we have to run on are the images that they produce. We see what they see. There hasn't been a murder in six years. There's nothing wrong with the system. It is perfect. I agree. Murder can be stopped. Exactly what it is you're looking for. Flaws. You ever get any false positives? We are arresting individuals who have broken no law. But they will. The fact that you prevent it from happening doesn't change the fact that it was going to happen. The system can't be wrong. Run! Wait! You say something, Chief? No. You're in a lot of trouble, John. I have a warrant in my pocket that says murder. Don't run. You don't have to chase me. From 20th Century Fox. He set me up. He set me up. And DreamWorks Pictures. Who's the victim? I've never heard of him. But I'm supposed to kill him in less than 36 hours. He's gonna get a getter. Tom Cruise. I need your help. Keep contain information. I need to know how to get at it. In a Steven Spielberg film. I have to know. I have to find out what happened in my life. You tell me. Who was it that set this up? I don't know. How about now? On June 21st, everybody runs. Enjoy watching this movie, this film, someday. So I'm okay. Let's read and follow. Okay, the reading. Will life really be like this? Listen and follow the reading, please. Listen. Will life really be like this? Steven Spielberg's film Minority Report is based on a story by science fiction writer Philip K. Dick. It is set in the year 2054 and describes the activities of a special Washington, D.C. police department called Pre-Crime, which aims to catch criminals before they commit a crime. They do this with the help of a group of young psychics who are called Precogs, which is short for Precognitive Thinkers. The Precogs have the power to see into the future. They know when a crime will be committed and who will commit it. They provide mental images which the pre-crime force have to interpret so that they will be able to arrest the criminals before they commit a crime. John Anderton, played by Tom Cruise, is a member of the pre-crime force. One day he discovers to his astonishment that the precogs are indicating that he himself will murder someone called Leo Crow, a man he has never heard of. Anderton spends the rest of the film on the run from the police, desperately trying to prove his innocence. This is even more difficult in 2054 than it would be now because, amongst other things, there is iris recognition technology at work on the doors of offices, stores and apartment buildings, which means the police are able to track his movements. To reduce the possibility of being arrested, 
Anderton undergoes a grueling operation to get himself a new pair of eyes. The operation is performed by an unlicensed backstreet surgeon. Shortly afterwards, in one of the few comic moments in this tense thriller, Anderton enters a store, and the store's automated iris recognition system welcomes him with a Japanese name. Is this the future? There are many futuristic technology features in the film, including iris recognition and the possibility of analyzing people's mental activity electronically. Iris recognition technology is already a reality. It can detect the part of your eye that is the most unique. Biometric passports and identity cards with iris recognition as one of its features are already in use. In the not-too-distant future, most countries will have introduced them. It will be impossible to forge them, so identity theft will be a thing of the past. However, the cards could also contain all kinds of information about you, your criminal record, religious beliefs, sexual orientation, and even which local football club you belong to. Brain imaging technology is not yet as advanced as in the film, but it is already very sophisticated. Functional Magnetic Resonance Imaging, fMRI, for example, is a technique for measuring brain activity, which works by detecting the changes in the flow of blood that occur in response to different brain actions. At the moment, it is used to help doctors cure brain disease. In the future, technology like this could be used to detect certain types of personality disorder and to predict potentially criminal behavior patterns then we really will be living in the world of Minority Report. Yeah, okay, very interesting, huh, really? Okay, let's move on, guys, to question number two of part two. It says, read the first part of the text, first part of the text, uh, quickly and find the following pieces of information. Question number one, it says, what is John Anderton's job? Look for it. Why does he have to run away from the police? Read again. This first two pieces of paragraph, paragraph, okay, and answer the questions, okay? Very interesting, interesting story, okay? The listening part. Answer the questions in your own words. You have to answer them in your own What is the purpose of the pre-crime department? What kind of people do they use to help them? How do the police get their information about crimes? What does Anderton do to avoid detection? What happens when he visits the store? Which of the technology feature in the film is already being used? What is the main advantage of biometric passport and identity cards? What is detected by FMRI? Answer, please answer the questions. Read the paragraph and answer the question. Okay, study skills, understanding pronoun references, pronoun and demonstrative pronoun, this, that, etc. usually refer to something which has been mentioned in a previous sentence or earlier in the same sentence. If you aren't sure what the pronoun refers to, read the previous sentence again. Okay, let me see. Yes, okay, for example, read the study skill then read the text and explain what references want to refer to. For example, it says, it is said in the year 2054, paragraph number one, <clears throat> they do this, paragraph number one, most countries will have introduced them, paragraph six, and technology like this will be used, paragraph seven. So you have to identify what they're referring to using the, the, the pronouns, okay? This and that. Okay, answer please. Next activity says in pairs, in pairs, read the opinions about technology described so far. Do you agree or disagree? Please read and agree or disagree. Just like that. Okay, let's go to vocabulary, guys. Read the examples from the text. How many words are suggested by each of the nouns involved? For example, it's the part of the eye, which is the most unique, the part refers to one thing, two things, three things, a group of young physics, a group 
could be two, three, four. A new pair of eyes. What does pair of pair of refers? Pair one, two. Okay. Answer, please. Let's continue with the next activity of the vocabulary. Look at the words. What could they refer to? Bar. A bar of soap. No. Beat. Bunch. Drop. Flock. Herd. Packet. Piece. Slice. Spec. Swarm. And tribe. I'll give you an example. For example, piece you, here is a piece of cake, you know, cheese, a slice of cheese, etc. Right? Like that. Flowers, a bunch of flowers. Okay. Very easy. Continue. Okay. It says drag the words to complete the questions. That's just an answer to each one. Slices, spec, piece, bar, packet, bunch, beat, and drop. The first one is, do you know where I can buy a space of chewing gum? What is it? A beat, a packet, or a piece of chewing gum? Chewing, if you say a packet, yes, it's a packet of chewing gum, correct. Then you have the second, what do you usually do when you have a, a free time before class? What do you suggest I do? I have a, a dirt of my eye, in my eye, I'm sorry. Do you think your mother would like a flowers? I already told you the answer. Is it bad to eat a chocolate, chocolate every day? Uh, where can I get the best of cheesecake in your town? If you felt a, a rain on a cloudless day, what would you think? Do you have toast? For breakfast so how many what how many what pieces bunches and that's okay you have to decide no this exercise is just write questions for the other words in exercise seven okay write questions using the new vocabulary so one two three questions only three questions yes referring to a bunch uh, a herd would be about this vocabulary um a tribe, a flock, etc. a spec. Okay? Only write three questions. Now let's continue with put your sound. It says match the verbs with a definition. Heard of, heard from, listen in on, heard about, listen out for. And look at the definition. Listen to a conversation with the, the people knowing, receive news from someone, know the Something exists, listen carefully because you expect something to happen. Learn that something has happened. Heard of, maybe re receive news from someone or know that something exists or listen to a conversation, okay, without the people knowing. Aha, exactly. Heard of means know that something exists like that. You continue with the other piece. Okay. And finally, we have this complete, complete the sentences with the verse in the correct form. Hear about, hear from, hear of, listening on, listen out of, for. Number one, John Anderton is told that he will murder someone called Leo Crow, a man he has never heard of, maybe, you know, or heard from. What do you think? Her dog, exactly. You have to put the verb in the correct tense. Okay. Great, okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll see you tomorrow. Watch the video as many times as possible. Thank you. Do your best. Bye bye.